If you are a fan and an avid player of Fortnite Battle Royale, you've probably thought to yourself multiple times in the past, huh, I wonder if I can get some free V-Bucks. And I'm sure if you are active on social media, you've seen plenty of people saying, hey, you can get free V-Bucks by doing this or that or whatever else, or uh, hey, you can get some free V-Bucks by downloading this app and doing this. But truth be told, 99.9% .9 of the time, there is no free V-Bucks app. There is no way to magically get free V-Bucks randomly from some site online. Those are probably all scams to try and get your account information and whatnot. But lo and behold, there are actually a few ways that you can legitimately earn some free V-Bucks by playing the game or knowing where exactly to look. These ways are safe and actually 100% real. And today we're breaking them down for you guys to hopefully help you earn some free V-Bucks in the near future. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you find it helpful by the end of it, feel free to drop a like rating on it. And without further ado, let's get into it. So above all, one thing that remains true throughout all of these methods here today is that they are all safe or should be safe if you're smart about it. Meaning none of these methods of earning V-Bucks for free will ask you for your account information outside of sometimes your username. You won't have to be giving out your email or your password or anything like that, and just to put it out there, you never should. Even if someone is saying that they can get you 10,000 V-Bucks for free, you should never, and I mean never, give out your account info because chances are it'll just end up with you losing your account, so just be aware of that moving forward. Anyways, here's a handful of tips to help you earn some free V-Bucks here in Fortnite Battle Royale. Number 1. Special Challenges while each week we see some new challenges go live in the form of weekly missions and whatnot, every now and then Epic will introduce some special limited time challenges. Sometimes they come in the form of the overtime challenges, but more recently those have been geared towards XP. Or other times we'll end up seeing some special event challenges themed around things like the Fort Nightmares event or Valentine's Day or even the 14 days of Fortnite, which we should have coming up here pretty soon to celebrate the holiday season and the season 1 extension. With these challenges you'll end up unlocking things like alternative outfits for certain skins, XP and other seasonal items like that. And if Epic Games is feeling a little extra generous, there will occasionally be some free V-Bucks up for grabs too. Now typically we don't see 2000 V-Bucks available to earn after you search 7 chests in the B5 grid area or whatever, but you can earn a couple hundred V-Bucks from time to time through these seasonal, special, and limited time challenges. The catch is, is that these challenges usually only last for a few days or a few weeks at a time, so they're really not around for all that long, but if you do happen to be grinding the game when they are around, it is a super easy way to earn V-Bucks without having to spend any money whatsoever. As I just mentioned too, in a few days time, we should see the holiday update release in Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 2, and with that, we will likely see the 14 days of Fortnite event return this year, as Epic stated there will be new free rewards to earn with the holiday celebration. And I am willing to bet some V-Bucks on the fact that we will be able to unlock some for free during this upcoming event. Number 2. Epic Screwing Up As they say, uh, nobody's perfect, or in some cases, Poe Buddy's nerfect, and uh, that stands true when it comes to game development too. While Epic Games is highly regarded as the quote-unquote king of kings when it comes to game development, since they are frequently updating the game and have been very transparent, at least uh, in the past, they have also made their fair share of mistakes. Sometimes the servers will go offline when they shouldn't, causing people to miss out on some pretty important things like in-game events. Sometimes V-Bucks in the store don't actually get added to your account properly. Sometimes they screw up and have to own up to it, and because of those mistakes, there is a chance that Epic offers free V-Bucks as a compensation for their mistakes. I know in the past I've seen some people try to buy some V-Bucks from the store and they don't end up tracking properly, and then the next day they email Epic support and suddenly there is some extra V-Bucks on their account that they did not end up paying for. Or they go to the item shop to buy an item and it doesn't purchase correctly, or they end up removing that item a few days later for a bug fix or whatever, and those who owned that item end up getting compensated with some extra V-Bucks too. So basically, the more that Epic screws up with the servers and purchasing things and all stuff like that, the more likely it is we're going to get some free V-Bucks as a little, uh, sorry we done goofed kind of deal. 
Number three, save the world. So this spot is kind of an odd one because it's in a bit of a gray area. Obviously, Save the World is a pay to play game for now, more on that in just a moment. But Fortnite Save the World does end up offering different quests and side missions that offer V-Bucks as a reward. So simply by playing the game, you end up earning some extra V-Bucks that you otherwise wouldn't have. But of course, some people might say, well, that doesn't count because you have to pay to play Save the World. It's like, what, 20 or $30 or whatever, so technically they are correct. However, to that I would say, well, Save the World is not always going to be pay to play, as it will eventually be a free to play mode just like Battle Royale. Near the end of 2018, Epic said that they plan on making Save the World a free to play title in early 2019. Now, like I just said, originally they specified that they aimed to drop the price tag in early 2019, but uh, lo and behold, that never happened. Obviously, you still have to pay to play it right now, but they are working towards eventually making it a free mode, and thus, whenever Save the World does end up going free to play, we will then all be able to complete those missions and side quests to earn those V-Buck rewards without ever paying anything. Number 4. Giveaways So this is definitely the sketchiest of all the methods on today's list, but it can still be legitimate. There are plenty of content creators and personalities out there who do actually give away V-Bucks for free, but like I said earlier, these are only legit and safe if they don't ask for your account information. Some people may need your in-game name so they can send you a friend request if they're going to gift you something, but normally they can just message you with a V-Buck code if you win the giveaway. My advice here though would be to only enter giveaways that require no information to be shared, like your account's email or your password. That way, it is basically risk-free. Number 5. Certain Bundles Once again, this is a bit of a gray area way to earn some free V-Bucks, but nonetheless, buying certain bundles in the store section of the game actually does allow you to earn some extra V-Bucks that you otherwise would not have been able to get. So while you may be paying for this certain skin or certain bundle item, you can also end up getting 400 or 500 or even 600 V-Bucks from them as well. So you are essentially paying for the items and not the V-Bucks, which in the end can technically make those extra V-Bucks you're getting with those bundles free in a sense. Like I said though, this one kind of falls into a gray area. Number 6. Getting Gifted a Battle Pass This is probably the single best way to earn some free V-Bucks out of all the ways that we've discussed today, because at the end of the day, not only are you getting some free V-Bucks out of this method, but you are also unlocking the rest of the Battle Pass content for free as well. And hey, when it comes to some free stuff, I would say the more the merrier. Anyways, this can fall under a way to get free V-Bucks, because obviously within each given Battle Pass, certain tiers contain some V-Bucks as a reward, and several of those tier spots end up appearing throughout each Battle Pass, so if someone is to gift you a Battle Pass, you don't have to pay anything, and once you unlock those tiers with the V-Bucks in them, you just got yourself some free V-Bucks to use as you please. So through this, you can unlock the skins, the pickaxes, the bonus XP, the V-Bucks, and everything else each Battle Pass has to offer without ever paying a dime because a friend gifted you the pass instead of you buying it for the standard price of right around $10. So, without a doubt, this method includes the most free stuff out of them all, and I'd say it's probably my favorite way of potentially getting some free V-Bucks out of everything we discussed here today. So, hopefully now that we've covered a handful of ways in which you can safely earn some free V-Bucks here in Fortnite Battle Royale, you will actually be able to stock up on some in time for the release of your favorite skin, or maybe even the new Battle Pass next season. Also, uh, speaking of skins, what skin is your all-time favorite? Be sure to drop your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it, give it a big old thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are new here and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when a new video goes live. As always, by joining the notification squad, every single time we upload a new video, YouTube will actually send you a message letting you know that we've gone live. That way you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new upload. Now, with all of that being said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for now. So, thanks so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.